What is going on guys and girls? My name is James or thanks to you and welcome back to Pixelmon. Guess what? Good news. We have updated the server. We are running the latest Pixelmon update and oh yeah. Team Block, it's back. So yes, yeah, super, super excited for this one. A lot of people have been really, really asking for the latest update for so, so long. And finally, we decided that, yeah, it's a really, really good idea to do the latest update. So what has basically happened is we have loads of new Pixelmons flying and swimming and jumping around. We have amazing new animations, renders, all that stuff, a ton of new items, and wow. I am so excited for this. Uh, I've literally been running around for maybe like half an hour. Um, the guys and myself have been sort of sorting out our bits and pieces. Basically, unfortunately, what happened is when we do actually have to update the Pixelmon um, on the server, any of the items that we've had, Pixelmon related, they kind of disappear. So what we did is before we did the update, we took screenshots of all of our chests and bits and pieces and we've been allowed to add those items back in. Um, but apart from that, we are exactly the same as how we left off with the added bonus of having this amazing new update. So yeah, look at this place. It's so pretty. Oh my god. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Like it, You'll be able to see it better in the daytime. Look at that. This bird. Look at that thing. Skarmory, you're a new face. Uh, but yeah, check this out. This is what Block at HQ looks like. This is the updated Pokeballers texture pack. We've got the updated Pixelmon on here, and we've also got this amazing. Um, I've added this Pixelmon Dark uh, like uh, interface type thing. So check this out. We're actually going to fight. Let's just get. Oh, uh, you know what? The first battle has to be Jeremy, right? Boom. So check this out. We've got this amazing like dark black fighting thing here, which looks incredible. Let's just hit it with a magnitude. He de he's not dead. Oh no. Finish him off. He did. Ah, oh, yeah. And you actually get loads of different items. So you get nether quartz and gravels. I don't want nether quartz and gravels, dude. You know what? Fine, whatever. Um, so yeah, check this out. I thought the first thing we'd go and do is take a little look around Team Block at HQ uh, to see what looks different. There's one thing which is a little bit weird, uh, which I will show you. But yeah, all my redstone still works. I'm so relieved by that. Uh, yeah, you'll notice that a few things maybe look a little bit different, but nothing has really changed too much. Let's head up here. Da, 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 da. Boop. And uh, yeah, the one thing which is a little... Oh, I've put all my Pokeballs back on. They have like these 3D renders now for the Pokeballs, which look really, really cool, but they kind of go a bit sideways. Uh, oh, check out my Venusaur. Check this out. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> so cool. Oh, no, Venusaur! Oh, dude! Oh, Venusaur, you big fatty. What are you doing, man? All right, so I'm going to be careful with that. That is... No, Venusaur. We just set it all up. Oh, whatever. So, okay, so yeah, the uh, the gold blocks now look like bricks. Don't know why. Maybe we could change that, but yeah, it's a little bit weird. But, you know, what can you do? Anyway, running into it, you can see that the gravel and the... Um, the clean stone textures are really different. I'm not too sure what I think about this just yet. The more I look at it, the more I actually quite like it. But I may need to kind of change all of the sort of, you know, the design features on this. Everything down here works perfectly fine. Um, so, yeah, all of the things. Weirdly, though, all of the other Pixelmon items have got destroyed. But the cloning machines with the Muse in stayed exactly the same. And I'm really not too sure why. But because these are obviously a Pixelmon item, but maybe it's because there was a Mew loaded, they kind of like four stayed in there, but it's good because we've still got those and uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. So let's take a look in here. We have our fossil machine and stuff all ready to go. Still haven't finished this. James, what have you been doing? I'm sorry, I'll get it fixed. So <laughs> we just run up here and then finally, well, this is obviously not the correct way to go, but yeah, that Onyx. Yeah, breakdancing. And then, boom, we have our normal team block HQ up at the top here with all of our items. So what I did actually have to do is I had to add in all of these items back again. Um, but, you know, I had screenshots of them exactly where they are, so nothing has changed here. But with the added bonus that we have a ton of new ones to try and get. So, yeah, I really don't know where to start. Um, as you remember last episode, I was doing some work on um, the vault. Just in case you didn't see that, let's go and check this out. It's like a secret hidden thing. And what I want to do is I want to have like a big vault door here and it's going to go down into like a treasury where I'm going to have all of my different treasures and stuff. Haven't done any work on that just because the update has been going on so I haven't really had the chance to. Um, 
but yeah, that is going to be something that we are going to do. But whilst we're in the brand new Pixelmon, why would we not go and check out some of the new Pixelmons that are wandering around? Let's go and see what things look like. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan for today's video. So is it daytime yet? It looks so cool in daytime. Um, no, not yet. Okay, so we're going to wait for it to become daytime. And um, yeah, I will meet you guys back in a second. Okay, a new dawn has arisen here. Check out how cool Block HQ looks like in the mist. Dun 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 OMGs. Uh, so yeah, very, very awesome. Now, what we've actually had to do, basically, we had to kind of decide whether to have um, some of the extra Pixelmon mods in um, and not update the server or have the server updated and lose some of those mods. So maybe someday at some point we'll have some new, like, other mods in here as well as the actual Pixelmon, but... We've had to lose the bikes, which, to be honest with you, I, ro I rode that bike once. So, oh my god, look how cool this place looks. Uh, but yeah, I rode the bike once, so that's not too bad. But we also, unfortunately, had to lose the Pokemart feature, which was a really, really cool one where, um, you know, you had the, the money and then you could buy, you know, Pokeballs and TMs and stuff. Um, but it's not too much of a big deal, to be honest, because what we actually did, um, or myself and Justin, I think Dan may have done this as well. Look how weird this looks now. Oh, check this out. I love this wood floor. This looks really nice. I actually prefer this to the one in Block at HQ. Oh no, am I gonna have to go on a m oh yeah, I really like the way this looks. Um so yeah, we basically had to decide what we wanted to do. As you can see, all my trees are gone. I still got the mighty. Oh, hail the mighty Derpichu. Uh But yeah, we're still we're still good for everything. But we we have to like craft our own Pokeballs. But the good thing is, before we actually updated the server, myself and Justin, I think Dan as well, maybe we spent all of our money or a lot of our money on like Pokeballs and stuff. So we had a little bit of a stash. So I do have a stash of balls up there. I just realised I haven't brought any of them with me, which is pretty stupid, seeing as we may run into something awesome. But let's just have a little run around here and see what we can fine so um yeah we've got like loads and loads of new modeling which has come um some of them look absolutely awesome check out this hang on i've actually got um oh look at the gold block it looks like bricks damn it this place looks cool now check these tiki huts out uh, but yeah the the actual swim animation type thing is really really awesome on the oh there's down hello <laughs> just chilling out with the blast effect oh he's made have you made a friend hmm have you made a friend today yes who is it Hmm? We're going to call him, what should we call this Blastoise? He's a wild Blastoise. I wonder if, I don't know, should, should we just, I think we should probably leave these two to it. I think there's some bonding going on here. All right, we'll leave you guys to it. But yeah, we've got some really, really cool swimming animations. We've got like the, the lighter water, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I really, what the hell is that? Um, I have no idea what you are. What are you? Come back, bird. <laughs> come back, dude, come back. I, I want to fight you. What? You're really fast. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You've got the Traoris head that we still built, what we built, uh, which still looks pretty damn awesome. Um, dude, why can't I catch up with you? Are you kidding me? Yeah, the fly animation is great, so we're not going to have any glitchy Fearos flying around anymore, which is a bit of a relief. As if that just flew away from me. <gasps> no way. That's so strange. Ooh, as well as that, uh, Justin told me about this. If we actually go into the summary here, we can see that the stats are actually changed. So this one, because it of the nature of the pet, I believe, it changes the special attack, special defense features, depending on what nature it is when you catch it. So that is now a big time player in uh, this latest update. So, hmm, hmm. Oh, I don't really know what to do first. You know, the one thing I really want to do, actually, in this episode is try and find some boss Pokemon and then see if we can maybe get some of the new items. And I also want to kind of look at... Oh, we've not got Crafting Guide installed. Oh, no! No, no, no! We should have probably put that in. Real, real. Hmm. I was going to go in my Crafting Guide and try and show you some of the items that we can make, but I've kind of forgotten um, to put that in, so... What we, I know there's a few, there's like a breeding system that I really want to look into, which is something that I think would be pretty damn fun. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little hunt. I want to go and see the swamp, actually. I think the swamp will look awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and, what the hell are you? <laughs> Who are you? Frederick? Oh, we've got new NPCs. No way. Oh, is this one of these, like, are they posh? Are they called posh kids? I can't remember. He talked to me. No way. Uh, let's just raise a leaf. This Poliwhirl. Lol. Let's raise a leaf it again. Lol. As if they didn't kill him. 
Venus. No way. Okay, goodbye. Okay, so we've got new trainers as well. No way, that's cool. That is pretty damn cool. So yeah, I want to go and see the swamp by and check out, see what that looks like. And of course, I'm going to keep an eye look out for boss Pokemon. So uh, yeah, let's see what we can find. Do you remember all our troubles to find a Bulbasaur? Oh, that's cool. You know, we'll just spawn in some wild Venusaurs. No big deal. Oh, dude. <laughs> I searched so long for one of you. For your little, little individual little self. And you're just chilling out here in the grass. Man. I can't be bad at you because you've got an amazing animation. But look at the walk. Ah, oh, it's so cool. So yeah, ooh, look at this. Yeah, we're, we're at the uh, the uh, the uh, thingamajig, the smelly place, the, the swamp. Yeah, the swamp. This is where Shrek lives, chills out, you know, with his greenness. And uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to have a little look around here for no particular reason, really. I just wanted to see if there's anything different about this place visually. And I'm not really seeing anything <laughs> that different. I mean, it does look cool, I've got to say, but I'm not seeing any of the newest Pixelmons in here. Um. From what I can tell anyway, Pixelmon are slightly less frequently spawning. So I think what they've done is they have actually like maybe slightly nerfed the spawn rates, which to be honest with you, I don't think is a terrible idea because it will kind of it will give you a bit more incentive to go out and keep exploring and looking for new Pixelmon and stuff like that, but that might just be me because I've literally just got here and um I don't think I've given too much of a chance for things to spawn. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. So what I'm going to do here is... I actually just kind of said this. Oh my god, look at the water. You can barely see it. I've actually got um, clear water on, which is why it looks like this. But I quite like it, because you can kind of see the Pixelmons a little bit better in it. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to have to go and try and find a boss. I think that is our first goal. And uh, yeah, I have just mentioned that, but I kind of got distracted a bit. As usual, you know what it's like. You know what it's like when you've got shiny things in front of you. Um, I wouldn't mind a shiny as well. That'd be awesome. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go and try and find a boss Pokémans. So yeah, bear with, and I'll meet you guys back in a second. Okay, so welcome back. My hunt for bosses went awfully. Oh man, I could not find a thing. I can't believe this. I searched around for ages. I've seen loads and loads of new Pixelmons that I've never seen before, including... Ooh, Dan TDM joined the game. Uh, but yeah, I've seen a load of... Oh, check this out. This is so cute. Uh, I really, really want to catch one of these. I think we're going to catch a Fanpy because... Oh, did it despawn? No! Oh, the uh, it runs like it's such a funny little run in it. I don't know oh, anymore. Oh, there's actually some fampies down here, but these are little ditty ones. I saw like a big one. I want a big one. Um, so let's have a little look around. What I thought I'd do is I'd actually try and do something in the new um, 1.7. And I'm thinking we are probably going to try and craft ourselves one of the ranch machines. Now, this is something I'd really like to get into a little bit. Um, basically, it's the Pokemon breeding system. And uh, yeah, we can actually craft ourselves one of those machines. This is so cute. Ah! <laughs> we can craft ourselves one of those machines. Ah, there's one. Check out the way it runs. Hang on. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Run for me. Perform! <laughs> oh, it runs like a little hog or something. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's really sweet. Um, so ooh, this is quite a, quite a sizable chap. Um, should we catch you? Or maybe it'd be better to catch you at a smaller level. Mm. Oh, I like you. I want to keep you. You're cute. Um, let's let's sh should we should we grab you? All right. So I've got myself some balls here. Uh, let's try out some ultra balls on it. See what we can do. Uh, bloop. And I've missed. Bloop. And I've missed. Bloop. And I've missed. Bloop. Come on, catch! Yes, there we go. So it's got a brand new Pokeball animation to it. These 3D Pokeballs look absolutely awesome. Let's see. Oh, Fan Peter, am we going to have to fight you? I don't really want to fight you because I will kill you. What that? Come on! <laughs> I haven't, you have to, like, throw it at the feet, uh, which is something I'm not too used to just yet. But, hey! Was that, like, super quick or something? You captured Fan... That felt way faster than usual. Maybe that's a new feature. Okay, interesting. I had no idea that happens. Let's have a look at this fan pee here. Uh, summary. Uh, its growth is enormous. Yes. And because it is a lonely creature, it has higher attack, lower defense. Oh, it's a lonely fan pee. No. Oh, tears for fan pee. That's so sad. All right, we're going to give it a good home. Um, but yeah, let's go and craft one of these things here. Hopefully we should have enough items. Oh, I've just realized... I think all of my aluminium may have disappeared. 
Oh no! Well, because we did have quite a bit of it, I feel like I should be able to give that back to myself. But let's have a look. Let's see if it's all gone. Uh, we're going to need to basically craft ourselves a PC. Those did actually disappear, which is a bit of a shame. We could actually just liberate one of our PCs for now if we don't have any, uh, which we could do. But let's double check. I bet it's all gone as well. Ah! <laughs> Foiled! Okay, fair enough. So I'm thinking we should probably add a PC here. Uh, there is a PC here which we could take, so I really, I, I kind of really want to make one of these actually, so let's just grab it. Now what we're also going to have to do is, let's grab one of them, uh, I'm going to have to go and liberate one of my flower pots, because I don't think I have any more clay, uh, some bricks left, and uh, the bricks that I had I really didn't have that many of them, so let's grab this, and let's just steal that for now. Um, and uh, what else do we need? We need a piston. I do know that I have pistons, uh, so that should be cool. I don't know how much of this we're actually going to get into today's episode, but I kind of want to show you this item in case you haven't seen it, because it's really very cool. Um, so it goes PC on middle, flower pot on top, piston on bottom, and then that gives us a ranch block. Now, I believe you can actually upgrade these, so uh, these are upgradable items, which is pretty cool, so I think you can change like the range of it. But... Um, yeah, let's go and uh, head back down. Let's just put it in the ground for now. So I can kind of show you. Close up those doors. All right, let's go check this out. Pistons, arise. Pistons, go down. All right, nice. So the ranch block is very, very cool. And uh, let's just stick it in the middle here. What I want to do is I want to maybe build like a block it breeding uh facility somewhere sort of maybe to the side maybe in that mountain that might be a cool place to put it uh, but yeah this is <laughs> how cool is that so what happens is the blocks that are marked there are the actual radius of um where it selects pokemon to breed and then basically when you manage a pokemon you can actually put different ones in and if they're compatible then they will actually breed so i don't know of any of the breeding facility Charmander. things at the moment but let's just put a couple of them in and as you can see Charmander. they'll kind of wander around uh, near to this and if you actually run away from it it descends into the ground it's a little flower and then it pops Charmander. itself back up again which i think is a really really cool little feature let's just stick these two guys in here so um let me just grab this up here you won't be able to see this but we need to go to uh, this one. So the ranch block, basically, what it says is it says uh, up to six Pokemon from the player's PC can be pe placed inside the ranch block. A Pokemon placed inside will begin to wander around the 9x9 nine nine block area around uh, the ranch block. Okay, so the wandering area can be seen by hovering over the ranch block like so. The wonder area can be increased by ranch upgrades, maximum of 15 by 15. While a Pokemon is inside a ranch block, it cannot be moved into the player's party or within the PC and will have to lock icon next to it to be viewed. Okay, whatever. Uh, only Pokemon that are inside the ranch block can be bred. Attempting to conduct the breeding process without a ranch block will produce no effects. Okay, if the breeding process is successful, the resultant egg will be visible inside the ranch block and can be claimed. A single Pokemon or group of Pokemon cannot be bred with each other. Uh, blah, 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 blah. A ranch block can be destroyed with a single punch and requires no tool to retrieve, but this will reset anything. Yeah, okay, so I think that's pretty damn nifty, right? Let's put some torches down here. I don't really know of any um, like things, breeding things, so... I don't know, let's just stick a couple things in. I, I, I really don't know what we should put in here, but let's put in like, I don't know, should we put in two of the same thing just to try it out? Oh, can we, can we breed Muse? Can we, can we, can we, can we breed Muse? <laughs> I don't know, I might just leave them there. Let's see what happens. If I could breed a Mew, that would be insane, but I highly doubt we will be able to. Let's just stick them in there. Meow, 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 meow. Amazing. I'm still so good we couldn't find a boss or anything like I'd looked for so long and I just couldn't find a sausage not a sausage speaking of sausages hello you you're always so happy always so happy aren't you punch you in the face mm, really really weird so yeah that's kind of cool what we need to do is get the crafting guide back up because there are so many items that I really want to look at and um, I'm not too sure what the whole situation is with oh, I was looking for an egg this is clearly not going to work is it <laughs> this is clearly not going to work but you know what we might as well just it's quite a nice way to display Pokemon as well that might be something I'd be quite interested in doing if you can imagine like a um, like a, a Pixelmon um, 
like show type thing where you could have the different ranch blocks and then you could have like different Pokemon more Pixelmon like an arcade for showing off Pixelmon if that makes sense that could be really really that's a good idea that I like that idea a lot mm. oh god Geodude yes he did <laughs> Venusaur Venusaur the one cool thing that I saw which is just when I logged on before I started recording I saw a wild Charizard just flying past block at HQ that was so cool I was like wow that was amazing but uh, yeah okay so let's have a little look down here I think um, I'm still looking for that ever elusive boss um, the thing is like it does seem that there's slightly less Pixelmon spawning um, which we can fix like if, if people enjoy seeing what the hell are you? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. I want one of you. What are you? I Oh, no. Look at you. Blah, blah, blah. I kind of want the baby version of you first though so we can level you up. Oh my god. All right. We should probably we should probably raise a leaf you. Oh, I've got a Jeremy back accident. Oh, this is so cool. Croconaut, cro 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 or something like that. I'm just going to call you Mr. Krabs. Yeah, we're going to call you Mr. Krabs. Oh, I want one of them. Where do I find them? Mr. Blastoise, where do I find them? Hmm? You tell me. I have no idea. Man, that thing was cool. Yeah, I remember. Oh, I remember actually seeing on a Pixelmon website a picture of that. And I was like, yes, that would be an amazing Pixelmon. So we do have some ideas here for, for new ones that we want to get. We've got this little Fampy, which I think would be quite fun to evolve. I would like to have one of those massive crabs, though. Do you think? Yeah, I'd really like to have one of those crabs, um, but I'm not too sure where we'd find a wild one. I'm guessing we'd just kind of find one around here somewhere, but I'm not really seeing one. We could actually... Oh, I'll tell you what we could do. Let's go back to the beginning, you know, where we first spawned in. Ah! I can actually tell you something as well, then. We've got something interesting that we're going to do. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing one over here. So let's go and run back to... Oh, oh downfall. Why is it always raining? Actually, no way. We have the rain disabled. Oh, we're going to have to re-disable that because it's really annoying. Um, but okay, hopefully it won't be raining over by the front bit, maybe? Maybe we can run through the rain. I don't know, we'll find out. But uh, yeah, what we were planning on doing is... Remember that ship that is like in the harbour uh, right at the beginning? I'll show you it just in case you don't remember. But uh, what we were thinking about doing with that is... We were thinking about set... Spinnerack? the hell are you? Oh, you're a new one to me as well. Uh, but yeah, we're thinking about setting it up so basically we, it's effectively going to be like the SS Anne. And what it will do is it will allow us to fast travel via command blocks to normal worlds. So we'll be able to get off the island and escape the island. And hopefully when we're actually sort of away from the island, there will be new things spawning which wouldn't necessarily spawn on our custom built land. So that's something which we are probably going to be doing really, really soon. Uh, this ship here. So we're going to be using this to fast travel over to the other side of the world and uh, yeah I kind of I'm kind of looking forward to that because there are a few sort of spawny bits and pieces that we don't necessarily get on this area so uh, yeah that should be kind of cool right I wonder if everything's gone from here uh, yes everything is gone we had some computers there but I think they're probably missing oh well rain be gone Hey, finally, we found a bus. We found a green scolopede. I couldn't even see it, like, with the coloration of this. Uh, but that's kind of cool. So let's fight this guy. Level 78. Um, let's hit a... Ooh, let's hit it with a dragon breath. Um, so, yeah, awesome. We finally found a bus. I'm really hoping for some cool items here. Let's, uh, is crunch better? Yeah, crunch is a good move. Uh, let's try... Oh, we should obviously use incinerate, because that would make a lot more sense. Um... Man, this thing's tough. Oh, God. Come on, Salamence. I believe in you. God damn it. I don't believe in you anymore. Um, Venusaur. Let's finish Venusaur. it off with Venusaur. Uh, take that. Oh, sleep powder. Actually, that could work. That could work. Yes. My fingers haven't failed me this time. It's dead. Three, two. Oh, come on. The super potion and stone hammer. Are you kidding me? Oh, I want some of the new items, man. Dude. Scolipede. You heartbreaker. Oh, well. Okay. So, fair enough, skis. Um... We are going to go and wander back to block at HQ now. And, uh, yeah, I could I could do it. So, uh, there's also a few, like, item gem type things, which are all really cool boosty stats. And you can get, um, you know, the calciums and the zincs and all that stuff. So I'm really hoping for... Oh, I thought that was a boss. It's a, it's a shaven sheep. 
<laughs> what a troll. What a troll. Um, but yeah, there's loads and loads of things that I'm really hoping we can sort of get stuck into here. So, oh, God, my voice. <clears throat> we can get stuck into here, I should say. So, yeah, let's have him wander back over here. Let's go check our breeding machine. I, I highly doubt We're clearly not going to be able to breed Muse, right? <laughs> if you've got any suggestions as to what we can actually breed, that would be really cool to know. Uh, or does it work with shinies? Like, can you, can you breed things with the possibilities of shinies? Or, you know what? I actually think I might just leave that there just to troll people if they see some Muse flying around. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that there for now. Just in case someone wanders past, they're like, Oh my god, Muse! And then they're mine. <laughs> oh, it's fun. It is fun. Hmm. There's another one. This is another Pokemon as well, which is new ones. The Skarmories. But sometimes they're in the air. Sometimes they're on the ground. So that's kind of cool. But I, I think I think one of the ones that I really do want to get are one of those weird crabs. Because I think they look absolutely hilarious. Um... And we don't have a water, well, we don't really have a water Pokemon at the moment, so um, that could be a plan. So, yeah, I'm thinking that this is going to be about it for this particular episode. It's kind of just me fumbling around the new update, to be honest. I'm kind of just trying to learn some new bits and pieces, so... In you know, the next few episodes, I imagine we'll get to grips with it and we'll actually do some more stuff. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make a video here to show you that we have updated and I am super excited. So make sure you hit that like button um, for the new update. Let's see how many let's see how many likes we can get. I'd be really interested. A lot of YouTubers do that. I don't really do that, but I'd love to actually see. It would be really interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're not yet subscribed, go for it. Because we do Minecraft done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. See ya.